What is good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with a video that a lot of people have been kind of expecting and asking me about if I was ever going to do something like this. And we're not going to go into a full on rant, but more explain why DLC 6 really proved to me that there should not be a DLC 7, they should not continue to work on this game, they should just move on to Xenoverse 3. I know a lot of people out there would like a DLC 7, would like to see characters like Topo, Kefla, uh, Khalifla, Kale, they would like to see all these characters come to the game along with others like PyCon, Oob, there are a lot of characters I know people would like to see come to the game, but first we're going to start out with netcode. Each DLC, the netcode gets worse, it does not get improved in any type of way or form they just don't pay attention to it so why should we continue to pay for content if they're not going to actually fix the game i mean that's just first and foremost you know like they they literally just do not pay attention to it has the netcode ever gotten better no it, it honestly feels worse than it was at the beginning of the game or even during the beta that's how bad the netcode is truly getting at this point that's just a main point now when we talk about dlc 6 there were a lot of issues with dlc 6 first let's start with the characters like i've explained before they were unfinished in every kind of way possible like seriously you had ranger 17 coming and doing all this crazy stuff in the tournament of power but had one new move that was a counter in the game like what he had all this new crazy stuff going on but he only did one basic ass counter that it, it's a good counter but at the same time it's only one new move like i really did not enjoy that jiren has combos that are not fully completed like they do not work they work do not work offline or online i can understand online but if they do not work offline that just means that you guys were completely lazy and didn't finish it and then you got UI Goku, who is a complete copy character for the most part. He literally has combos from almost like six or seven different characters in the game. It's very crazy. Like, it just doesn't make sense. How can they just combine all these combos into one person? It honestly looked like a mod almost because when modders make characters, they give other characters, like they get combos from other characters and sometimes mix them into one. And that's what UI Goku really is. So just with the characters alone, DLC 6 was a fail in my opinion. Fu was a great character though, I will say that. Fu is a very fun and cool character, very original. I really do like Fu. But the other characters were letdowns. They had their own letdowns in each and every each in each character's way. Like I like Ranger 17, I like Jim, but there are still issues with them that just show laziness and show reasons why they need to move on to Xenoverse 3. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the costumes. Wow. It took you guys over a month to initially release the costumes to us. Over a month. And then when you did release them, you made the gifts, these, these magical gifts, cost 500 TP medals per gift, just to get one gift, and to get the costumes that you wanted from your mentors, for example, the Super San Rose wig, you had to not only buy the gift one time, you had to at least buy it twice. And if you didn't know about the glitch, some people ended up buying it like 10 times, just trying to get a Rose wig. That is 5,000 TP medals just for a rose wig. How ridiculous does that sound? And then you guys have the audacity to raise the price of the gifts when the Android 18 and Videl bikini costumes came out, which you knew was the most popular one. You guys knew this. You knew everybody wanted this. So you guys were like, okay, let's try and get some money because, you know, we can make people spend money for TP medals. Now it's an easy way to get all this stuff, right? Wrong. Nobody wants to spend $12 just to get two costumes. What kind of, what, what kind of nonsense is that? Let me go spend $12 so I can get, what, 2,000 TP medals or something like that and get both of these costumes. That sounds like a great plan. No, not really. And then we get to the final part of this DLC that still has not released. The most look, the most hyped costume, the one that everybody was looking forward to. We are finally getting a Merge Zamasu costume. Getting the wig and all that. But it's still not here. The DLC dropped basically two months ago. Two months ago, and they still have not released all the content from the DLC. If that does not prove to you right there that DLC 7 should not be in existence and they should just really focus on Xenoverse 3, move on to the new game, and stop focusing on Xenoverse 2 because clearly they're getting lazy and just giving us stuff for the money, then I, I don't know what else to say. Because the fact of a DLC costume, a costume, not releasing 
two months after the original DLC dropped? It just doesn't make sense to me. And that we get no news on it. Like zero. And it was in the release trailer. When they first released the DLC talking about the free part, it was in the trailer. And it has still yet to come out. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. So again, I, I didn't really want to go into a full rant. Like, I'm not going to get all upset or anything about it. Because, you know, I'm used to it with Xenoverse at this point. But I do want to explain why fully, why DLC 6 truly proves that this game should just stop making content. It should just move on to the next phase in which that is Xenoverse 3. Xenoverse 3 will be absolutely amazing in my opinion if they take the time and put the actual effort into it because if you think Xenoverse 1 to 2 was a major improvement. So if we can get that same kind of improvement from 2 to 3, just imagine how great of a game Xenoverse 3 truly will be because Xenoverse 2 is still a great game, it just has its issues, but it's so great of a game that through all these issues people still play it. So again, in my opinion, I do not think they should make another DLC. Again, more content would be awesome. New characters, new skills, all that would be absolutely amazing. But the fact that they don't come through with all the content when it's supposed to come out, like with DLC 6, and they've done it with past DLCs as well, and the fact that they don't fix netcode, it, it, just, does, it, it just doesn't make sense to me for them to make another one and if they do add new characters like they would with any dlc they may be incomplete again just like jiren was or they may be lazily done like ranger 17 or um ultra instinct goku was because ranger 17 again only got one new move and ultra instinct goku was a complete copy character put into one so those are all my reasons let me know your thoughts on what i had to say down below again i know a lot of people wanted to hear my opinion on this see what i had to say and, and just thoughts overall on this subject because it is a, an absolute load of nonsense like it just does not make any sense to me or anyone else out there so again let me know your opinion on this topic down below but as always thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for another video today gonna have a character test up for you guys later but till then i hope you guys have a good day as always peace y'all